Hey, it's Nico Spent. Today, today we've got Quirky 1.2, and I'm booting from the live CD, and this is the first one you get once you boot up. Woof woof, tells you all about it, what it's doing, what it should do, blah 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 blah. So we're going to do a bit of two for one for you today, we're going to install it and then have a look around. Because the install's just a little bit different than it normally is for a pup. So I'm going to go to install, you just click once as it's a pup, we go down to the universal installer, and I'm doing it to an ID hard drive, well it's VBox really, I've made a last little petition in VBox for today because I couldn't be bothered to set a machine up because I'm lazy today. Basically you click on that and here we go, going through the install process. So that's my little partition, XT4, click once, that's the baby for me. Yes I know, that's what I'm doing. Okay again. Now where are the files? Well they're on CD. Now we know this because my CD is mounted down here with the hard drive. Even lovelier. So click CD, OK, and woof, 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 woofy, woof, 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 we go. I'm doing a full install, don't want to do a frugal, we'll just do a full, get it out of the way, click on there, and off we go. It starts copying the files over, it, it, the whole process takes around about four minutes, I suppose, maybe five, it all depends on the machine, etc. Second part of the install, I did cut a little bit here, but hey. Just to make it a bit shorter, you know what YouTube's like. Right, so we're installed to the drive. Lovely jubbly, we all say to ourselves. Now normally we get the grub bootloader here, don't we? Well, things are changing, baby. Things are changing. If you get this, don't bleed and panic. It's no big deal. But basically it's telling you, if you've already got a grub installed, say you're doing a dual boot, triple boot, quad boot, six boot, any boot you like, they've given you the script here to put into the uh, menu list. So if I just drag that down... And I'll show you. If you look at 7, 8, and 9, <clears throat> if you copy and paste them over into your grub, all should be in theory well. Now, this is, as this is a new install, I don't really need to do that, do I? So just click OK and get rid of that. We don't want that. And basically, all we do, you open up your menu, you can right click, go to System, and we scroll down, and I'm going to go to the Grub Legacy Boot Logo. And there we go, back how it normally would be. Click OK and OK. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it wants to know where to put the folders. On files, should I say. Now if you look down at the left hand part of the screen, you'll see SDA1. And that's all you do. So what you want to do, you want to type in forward slash, DEV, forward slash again, SDA1. And then OK. And the grub configuration thing will start working for you. There we go. I'm working, working, working. Now we want to install that to the master boot record. Click OK. It does its little bit and bob. Super duper. Nearly all done. Nearly, nearly, nearly. And we're done. That took a few minutes really, didn't it, for the whole process to get out of the way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly restart the machine so we boot into the hard disk installation, which is quite super. Right, there we are. I've just booted because I edited that in. Now we're going to connect to the internet. <coughs> Excuse me again, I've got a cough coming. We'll get two options here, simple or network wizard. So I'm going to go with a simple network setup, which is Barry's new tool. God of Linux. I'm going to click on F, because I've got an ethernet wired system here. So we click on there. I'm going to wait there. Orange bar, orange bar, orange bar, orange bar. And we're done. So I'm going to keep that as my default. OK, and now we're connected to the internet. We're all ready to go and do whatever you want. So that's the install bit out of the way. Let's have a look. Well, not much has changed too much. But there are a lot of updates under the hood. A lot more codecs for playing your multimedia and stuff like that. If I click on play, you'll now see it's M player is your standard, not GX Zine. Which is probably a good choice, really. M player, it's all right. Plays lots of stuff. But he's actually put most of the codecs into play. There's only a couple it won't play, apparently. So I'll play around with that on, uh, on a little USB stick, I think. Anyway, desktop. Configure your touchpad. Nice new one, but not much too different there at all, is there? If we scroll down there, IP and phone for network information. I um, don't remember seeing that before, but it's probably there and I've missed it. Of course, we've got the, the grab and grab for DOS. <coughs> Excuse me again. Blimey, bad guy. We're going to set up. It's all the same. Nothing much different there whatsoever. Is there really? No. In utilities. Oh, there's some different stuff in utilities. In snap. No, not I've got the power. Snap. Takes a backup and backup of your driver. Ooh, I like it, like it. Okay, so we're going to open the one where it says GUI. <coughs> I do apologise for my cough. And there we go. Now, if you read everything, 
it looks pretty straightforward, doesn't it, really? So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. And basically, you fill in all the bits and bobs, click OK and save, and it will save to wherever you want to save it to. USB drive, whatever, whatever, or another partition, even, that you've got mounted, by the way. You must have it mounted. You don't want it unmounted, do you? Not really, no. That's quite a nice new one. Bit of a backy-uppy stuff. Yeah. Oh, we're going down again. Right, resize your personal storage. Yeah, that's been there for a while. You've got your antivirus there if you really want it. Remember, PUP runs in root, so it's not a multi-use system. But you can add multi-user to it, as you'll know if you've seen some of my other videos. Genie Merck's your baby. Personal, nothing much changed there whatsoever, really, is there, when you think about it? No. Oh, oh yes, there is. Oh, a bit of a sample browser thing. I've never seen it before. I'll play that later. Hmm, nice. Internet, all your usual multimedia, right? You get a Sunder WF converter, so this is where all the new code that's coming. Got M player, as you would, meter tagger, audio player, pre record, the sound mixer, and pup radio telly. Now, I opened this up in the last pup one I did, and uh, I thought I'd open it up again actually. So, there you go, there's all the TV channels, and basically, all you do if you want to watch one, you click it. So, if I click NASA TV, and we wait and wait and wait while it connects, after a little while. Now, F toggles the screen, by the way, just in case you didn't read the things. I know some of you don't do the reading thing, and then you worry when things don't go right for you. So anyway, we're waiting and waiting. It's taking its time, isn't it? Here we go. Eee! And there we have Nessa TV. Now, I pressed F there to toggle it, so we get a reasonable size screen, really, more than anything else. So, yeah, that's all right now. Okay. That's how I didn't want to watch any of them TV programmes. So, telly, www, goes to a stream archive site. So, I thought, oh, well, let's have a look there. And see what it is. So I've clicked on the button. It comes up in the old monk. Basically, it's Squid TV, and you can choose from other countries the different streams they carry on here. Now I have clicked a couple before for my region, and it didn't like it. And I've just clicked the one to watch there, but obviously it doesn't work. So if I just go to the Sky News page anyway, and basically it says your browser is not supported. But I know if I do it, I could get it to work. But yeah, let's just go into the Sky News site. So, mm, no big deal. Don't like squid too much, do you? Nah, it's not squiddy enough. I like it better, though. Dipped in mayonnaise and garlic. Anyway, that's basically it for Quirky 1.2. It's a lot more stable and a lot quicker. And when I put in my CDs, it bleeding works. Super duper. Anyway, that's enough from me. Can get it yourself. Sneaky Linux going out to do his cough thing. Bye-bye.